Oh, hi there. Welcome to Mechanical Mastery. Welcome back to Mechanical Mastery Episode 2. Last time, we did a Tier 1 and Tier 2 automation, but it was bad. Uh, we've made kind of a scuffed version of the Tier 2 automation. So this episode, we'll try and fix it. Okay, this is my attempt at redesigning the tier 1 automation, but this does not work. It still overflows. Before I tear this down, let me explain a bit on how this machine works. Essentially, we have all our EMC links back here, feeding ores into a row of redstone furnaces. If you look from up here, these are basically modules, as you can see. That module is processing the aluminum. It's turning it into gears right here. And this module is processing the iron. Why four redstone furnaces? Because it takes four ores or four ingots to make one gear. And this tiny module is the rod uh, production line. We only have one redstone furnace because it only takes one ingot to make two rods. As to not um, have an excess of rods. As you can see, we have an excess of rods right now. We got our sequential fabricator, the auto crafter here, which leads into three multi silver presses that processes the essence and turn them into crystals. But this does not work, it still overflows. So we're gonna redo this right now. What? You need four to be silent? Nah, man. This should be considered torture, man. Okay. So, this is the newly improved um, tier one automation production line. Um, it's the same as before. The only difference is we beefed up the um, aluminum and iron production line. So, we have seven furnaces feeding into um, two uh, multi servo press. Sorry. And the other difference is we have uh, buffer barrels or drawers here. So each output, we have one drawer to store it before we move it. So we have our aluminum drawer here, which is then um, fed into the multi servo press. We have our iron drawer here, which is then fed into the multi servo press from below, as you can see. And then we also store the gears in barrels before we feed it into the sequential fabricator. Now, um, we do have a problem with the copper rods, though. This is the copper rod production line. It's still the same as before. We have two furnaces and one multi-servo press. The problem is this is either too fast or too slow. If only one furnace is working, it's too slow. If there's two furnaces working, it's too fast. It's going to produce more than we're needed. So, like right now, um, it's only one furnace is running right now. Only one furnace is running. I turn this off. So, if I turn this back on, eventually, the copper rods were, will overflow the production line and all get stuck. So, we need to sort that problem out somehow. Um, but yeah, right now, this is what we got with the tier 1 production line. Um, everything is fed into a sequential fabricator, making the basic kind of essences. And then that is fed into our three multi servo press. Um, processing it to become the crystals and fed into a EMC link. And then we have the um, excess here, which we will use for our tier two production line down the road. Um, yeah, that is the tier one production done. And let's try to do tier two. Let's go. Now tier two is a bit tricky because we have excess materials now, which we need to filter out. Good news is we can use sulfur back as fuel. So technically, we only have gravel as an excess that we cannot use. To filter out the coal, we need our configurator. Set two items. Pick one color. Let's say blue. And then you filter. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Item stack. Item stack, coal. Set to blue, save. So now, coal will only go to the blue pipes which is one of our pyrolyzers here. Let's set 
the single stack to on since we want to distribute all the coal into these pyrolyzers evenly. Hello, what do you sell? Pig pen tome. What the fuck is this? Costs eight. One pig pen tome, please. What is that? What does that mean? Acquire the pig pen. Yes, very helpful. Okay. All right. Sure. So this is one module of the steel production. I need to make three of these modules in order to have the same rate as the um, Invar gear production. So prepare yourself for some math. Here we go. So this pulverizer takes 10 seconds to produce two coal and this pyrolyzers take 40 seconds to make one coal cook from one coal. So it takes 40 seconds to make eight coal coke, right? Stay with me. So this one pulverizer, because it's making two coal per 10 seconds, it can feed um, eight pyrolyzers, right? So with eight pyrolyzers, we have a rate of eight coal coke per 40 seconds, which is then fed into the induction smelter, right? The induction smelter takes 10 seconds to make one steel and it consumes one coal coke. That means four pyrolyzers can feed one induction smelter because it takes 40 seconds for one pyrolyzer to produce one coal coke and it takes uh, 10 seconds for one induction smelter to take one coal coke and turn it into steel. You following? You, you left? You get it? I've also counted the rate of the um, in Invar production. It takes 12 seconds for the induction smelter to turn one nickel and two iron into three Invar. So we have a rate of three Invar per 12 seconds. Mm, are you still here? Are you still following? This is my notes, by the way, if you're curious. So with that being said, I need to make uh, two more of these modules for the whole uh, tier two production to work so flawlessly without any, you know, clogs in the machine. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do what the pig did. Very good. Okay. Hi, sheep. Um, I've decided to make four modules uh, for steel production. So we're going to use three for our tier two automation. I'm going to use um, the last one for like our, you know, our usual uh, steel for personal use. Because the wiring I found out while building this requires steel, like the advanced one and the normal one. Look at this. Requires steel. This also requires steel. So it's a pretty huge commodity. So I want to have one module dedicated to um, just, you know, future use of the of the world here. But we've run into a problem. Some of you might have noticed. We have three windmills now. And some of the sterling generators aren't on. We are having a power crisis right now. The machines we're building takes up too much power and we're not producing enough so that is something we need to tackle soon but right now i'm gonna build the um invar gear production line uh, module uh two of those and then i'm gonna build the bronze rod um, production line that should do for now behold the steel production line how it works is still the same as before we have the pulverizer um, getting fed the coal from this basic EMC link. And after the coal is processed, it is shot out into our pyrolyzers. The pyrolyzers will convert the coal into coal coke and get sent to our drawers. From this, um, the drawers will produce or the drawers will store the coal coke and tar. The tar we will send up to this sterling dynamos for extra power and then um, the coal coke will be sent into into our induction smelters making steel so we got that all running we also have what do we call these compression dynamos um, from the creosote oil that is produced by the pyrolyzers as you can see that just fired 
And now it's making extra power, you know. We need to get all the power we can because this takes a lot of power. And I think we still have excess tar right now. Seven stacks. I don't know why it's not firing. Maybe because it's full. Yeah, it's full. Maybe we need more sterling dynamos. I'll add more. But yeah, this is what we got right now. This is the steel production line. Um, we also added the sand pulverizer here. One of the outputs from this is a gravel. We take the gravel into another pulverizer and then that pulverizer produces sand and the sand is stored here. So anytime we need glass or sand, we just easy access to this battle or drawer. Now, the Invar production line is way smaller. All we needed is two induction smelters making Invar. We should have the same rates as our steel. So, um, everything is connected up to here. Oh yeah, finally, last one is the bronze rod production line. This is very simple. Two redstone furnaces. Um, one's making copper, one's making tin. Let's get sent into an induction smelter, which makes bronze. Um, you need three tin and one, no, no, no. Three copper and one tin to make four um, rods. We just have a sequential fabricator. We don't need uh, the, the, what do you call it? The multi servo press because we want it to be slow as to not overflow the the production line anyway this is our bronze production line and now we will do create on camera oh god let's see if we can do it and, and then i'm gonna connect the basins using the pipes with filters on that only lets the regular essence through and connect the power finally oh perfect perfect here we go I planned this, by the way. I planned it. The alignment. This is 100% planned and not a coincidence. Anyway, there we go. So, we have our fully functional tier 2 item production. Um, I think these logistical sorters will not let any of the um, basins overflow. I think. I hope. Um, I will adjust the rates. I will monitor this, adjust the rates. I think we're low on Invar gears right now. Oh, why is it not doing it? Oh, I haven't set the out auto output. I see. Okay. So everything should work now. That is it for this video. Next episode, we will do a bit of farming since I'm out of food. Um, I'm currently living off of melons right now. I've also started a, a mini farm here. And yeah, next time, we're going to focus on power and food. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.